Eiji Nakatsu, a bird watcher and an engineer, was appointed as the general manager of the Technical Department of Development in Japan Railways. His primary project was to work on the development of a bullet train named Shinkansen. This bullet train had one major problem. You see, when the train entered a tunnel, the air inside the tunnel got compressed. And as the train progressed inside the tunnel, this compressed air generated powerful sound waves. And when the bullet train got to the other end of the tunnel, this sound wave generated a loud booming noise. This was a real problem as this booming noise was breaking Japanese environmental regulations, disturbing the passengers, local wildlife, as well as local people living nearby. To solve this issue, Nakatsu drew inspiration from nature, more specifically from the kingfisher. Despite what their name suggests, not all kingfishers feed on fish. However, from the ones that do, you will notice that in order to catch fish, the kingfisher sits still on a branch and observes the water underneath. As soon as it spots a fish, it plunges into the water. A kingfisher's beak looks like two triangles with rounded edges. The beak gradually increases in diameter from the tip to the head. This unique adaptation of the kingfisher's beak allows it to slide inside the water as opposed to crashing into it. When Nakatsu implemented this to reshape the nose of the bullet train, the new kingfisher-inspired Shinkansen was much quieter, faster, and had 30% less air resistance. Interestingly, at that point in 1997, Shinkansen became the fastest train on Earth, all inspired by this little radiant bird. If you found this video interesting, and for more such examples related to biomimicry, Consider subscribing to this channel and I will see you in the next video.